mind behind one of the most brutal mass murders ever committed. Meet Vincent Bugliosi, the man who put Manson behind bars, and Patty Tate, sister of one of the victims. We'll also hear from Sandra Good, one of the original followers, and learn why there's a new breed of worshippers following in their footsteps. Charles Manson is my role model on the Bertice Berry Show today. Charles Manson. For most of us, the name alone evokes fear. He made us realize that no matter how rich anyone was, that we could no longer be safe. Today you're going to meet people who say that Manson is a leader. He could even be a role model. And for the first time on TV, they will face the sister of one of the victims, Patty Tate, and also the man who put Manson behind bars, Vincent Bugliosi. Let me introduce our first guest. This is Sandra Good. She goes by Blue, a name that Manson gave her. She was one of the original followers. And George Simpson, who has recently been visiting Manson for the last three years. Let me start with you, Blue. You say that if the whole world would follow Manson, that we would be a better place? Well, let me clarify something. I never considered myself a follower. Manson particularly didn't want followers. He said, have faith in yourself and follow your own heart. But he has influenced my life, and I feel that my life is good because of him. Um, he would be a, a f fantastic role model for the country. He would give the children back to themselves. He would give the kids back to themselves. He wouldn't brainwash them uh, with the BS that kids nowadays are brainwashed. The system in school does nothing really but put children's mind in the money. Mm -hmm. The love of money is destroying the planet. What we were all about was to save our air. Our, we have an organization called ATWA. Mm -hmm. It stands for air, trees, water, and animals. By slicing up a pregnant woman? She wasn't sliced up. Her belly was not touched, and he'll tell you that. She was mur She was. And killed. you also say that, was that he never... Uh, forced anybody to do anything. That's right. And he wanted people to think for themselves. That's right. That's mm -hmm. why he kept them in cabins out in the desert. Nobody was, nobody was kept anywhere. People were free to leave as they did. You can even check in his book. It's replete with stories with people when the goings got too heavy, they left. Manson didn't force anybody to do anything. Everybody had their own free will. Okay, Those were distinct. Everybody at that ranch had their own personality, their own mind. She said earlier, Manson made the country aware that the rich people weren't safe. It wasn't Manson. It was the children of the middle class that went into those houses. That's right. You can shake your head. But that's the truth. Manson wasn't there. He wasn't even in town for the week before those murders. That idea came up out of the but minds right of that middle Manson class said that he was kids, us a and that's call? what people can't stand to we listen were. to. So they have to put it off on an ex-con and make this whole story, oh, our kids couldn't have done that, so it must be this guy that's been in jail his whole life. Well, let, let me just say who Charles Manson is, for, for, for starters. We all know, of course, the, the famous name, but let me just give you a little background on him. He's a very complex individual. Mm -hmm. Certainly not the Richard Speck type of a mass murderer. Uh, He's not any kind uh, of a mass murderer. Just let, me, let, me, let me just tell the, 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 the folks who he is. Uh, <clears throat> he, he's 59 years of age, born in Cincinnati, Ohio. <clears throat> well over half of his life has been spent in jails, reformatories, and prisons. There's no question that he's a very intelligent, very bright person. He's charismatic. Wherever he went, the evidence is clear. Kids just seem to congregate towards him. Uh, on a different level, he's a megalomaniac. Uh, he had this uncanny ability to dominate and control I fellow, human, wait a minute, fellow human beings. Be fellow human beings. I do not let myself okay, be wait, let, I can't let, let, let you say okay, that. Okay, but let me just finish. Let, let, let me just. That's let, not let, true. let me just finish. Like all tyrants, there were some good, good sides to him. I'm sure he loved animals and children. Adolf Hitler did too. <laughs> What's that uh, supposed to mean? Wait a while. What's that supposed to mean? Let me, I want you to finish this point, but let me bring Patty in here now. You're hearing <laughs> this discussion, this, this, this whole, it's a conservationist kind of thing. Now, how do you respond emotionally knowing what happened to your sister, Sharon? Well, my response is when I sit and listen to Sandra say, you know, that about um, taking care of the earth, you know, and our water and our trees, and how they were programmed, there was so much violence, but they took in all that violence and they did worse. 
So instead of by trying to do anything that was positive, of which we can do, they chose to, to do such bad things. And why? I mean, it, it, first of all, to me, it, it, none of it ties in. I don't understand any correlation with, you know, saving our environment and killing people. I don't even, I can't even imagine what this is about. <laughs> I was, I, was giving you, I was giving you a sketch of Manson. Most of all, Manson is a cold-blooded killer. Who, That's not even okay, true. Never, 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 who, who during the, the, the family's heyday, very cleverly masqueraded behind the image of being peace-loving. Manson has a passion and a, and a lust for death and murder. As someone who knows Manson better than I do, because he lived with Charlie, he said, death is Charlie's trip. Manson, Manson spoke constantly of death. He said everyone had to die either in their head, the killing of the ego, or out on the street. He said, he'd rather kill, he said he'd rather kill a human being than even a bird or a rattlesnake. Right. Uh, the, the, songs, the songs he wrote contained frequent uh, references to death. Uh, he had this morbid preoccupation with death ego and murder. Death. Now, Manson, it's hard to talk born. here with these interruptions. Manson was convicted of nine murders. He was sentenced to death, not life in prison. That's I right. told the jury, death, if this was, was not a proper was. case for the imposition of the death penalty, no case ever would be. Right. So he was, he was convicted of nine murders, sentenced to death, believed to be responsible for 35 That's murders. Ridiculous. The reason I say that is that the Manson family said we, quote, off to 35 people. I'm personally convinced that if Manson had the opportunity, he would murder as many people as he could. He has an enormous hostility towards society. That doesn't mean society. anything. Okay. 25 years of this total bull****. Okay. Total bull****. Slander her herself he told Lawrence Mer Merrick, a Hollywood producer, that the Manson family was responsible for 35 I to 40 murders. Not. Well, Lawrence Merrick said that you he, did. Is it on tape? I did well, not. Lawrence because Merrick. it is not Third Sandra Rue. You say that the reason for the murders was not helter-skelter, as is alleged in the book. Helter-skelter means confusion. We saw the country was spiraling into a greater state of confusion, which is what you have now. Mm -hmm. And they want to make it worse. And who gives it you can't get much worse. You do? It can't make it worse. Right make it worse. War. What, what gives Bush the right to send people in to kill? What gives any leader or whatever to go in and kill people they in Vietnam? They gave themselves the right. They knew the consequences like of their we acts. We were, <laughs> okay, Sandra, Alex, start I, from the beginning. Okay, I, I, I'm going to have to take a break here. I want to get back to both of you. We're going to do that in the next segment. I want to ask you, how in the world are we going to get through chaos and beyond chaos by killing and mutilating more people? I want to know that. We're going to take a break and come back and ask you that question.